Yeah, I just want to take a look at this Crescent half-inch socket set um, with SAE sockets, one extension, and the ratchet itself. And the key thing here is, um, for being a pretty decent ratchet, I paid a whopping $7.22 on Amazon. And this really goes to, to show the value of kind of going off the going off the beaten path and looking for things that maybe are unlisted correctly or just poorly listed on just cross-referencing the model number with other things um, you can really find some good deals on Amazon. This ratchet is one of the teardrop styles um, it has the push button and it reminds me a lot of some of the more basic gear wrench branded ones however I believe it's slightly less tooth count um, I did go ahead and lubricate this one already with some grease um, and you can hear it's a very nice movement. Um, you can see that it does move with bar and just like any one you grease you, you do get a little bit coming out. Um, it is completely serviceable, kind of reminds me of the older Craftsman style I'm under Dan here. Uh, but this is an Apex tool. Lengthwise, it's uh, very respectable for such an inexpensive tool. I would be surprised to see the set selling for $25, $30. Um, Craftsman, you know, would probably have something similar closer to $45 or $50. Um, one thing I should point out about this set is I really don't like this style uh of enclosure. Um, some of the newer units or the higher end gear wrench uh, will actually include a metal rail that's fairly reusable um, but these plastic pegs tend to break off pretty quickly and I would recommend not counting on this to hold them sturdy. Um, that being said it is better than nothing so if you don't have um, any tool pouches or small tool bags it'd probably be okay as long as you're gentle with it. One other thing to point out with this set is that it is made in China and the tall tale sign of that is that it ends with an N for um, new. When they went around and updated all the products they moved them from Taiwan over to China and you'll have the same SKU number with an N appended at the end now. Um, you can see here that it is a pretty reasonable set going from 3 8 to 15 16 and I would consider these just a standard short 12 point. Um, should be fine for most homeowners. Um, my particular case I'm set building just trying to get duplicates to keep in multiple vehicles that type of thing. Um, I can highly recommend this set as long as you're staying under $20 or so. I think if you get much above that um, you'd be better off getting a full-fledged half-inch socket set um, with deeps in both metric and SAE, and you're probably going to be spending close to $100 for that, but that's going to be a much better value in the long run. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, feel free to check out some of my others on the channel, including a 3 8 version of this same set um, that I was also able to get on Amazon very inexpensively. Um, feel free to subscribe and check out um, my frequent updates. Thank you.